Hello pals, in this video you will learn about why tomato leaves curl or roll up, when to be concerned if you see that in your garden and what actions to take to mitigate it. This is Dr. Obi's garden, let's do this. Rolling of tomatoes is a common occurrence in the garden and even on commercial farms that gets farmers worried. Before you know what actions to take, you first need to know why tomato leaves curl or roll. For the most part, rolling of tomato leaves is a physiological response to changes in the environment or attack by pathogens or pests. Environmental conditions such as high temperature, inadequate moisture, excessive watering or too much nitrogen, as well as lack of nutrients can all cause tomato leaves to roll up. Biotic factors such as attack by viruses or even bacteria can manifest as rolling or curling of tomato leaves. Finally, pests such as tomato leaf miner can also cause tomato leaves to roll. Now, I'll show you how to distinguish between 5 plus 1 different causes of leaf rolling in tomatoes and what step to take for each potential cause. Number 1. Viral Diseases There are many viral diseases that can cause tomato leaves to curl. The common ones include tomato yellow leaf curl virus, cucumber mosaic virus, tomato spotted wilt virus, tobacco and tomato mosaic viruses. I won't go into the specific details of these viruses but will focus on how to spot curling or rolling caused by viral diseases. A common symptom of viral diseases is rolling or curling of the young leaves. The curling may be downward or slightly up and often accompanied by leaf discoloration such as yellow patches and spots or even brown spots. When you notice any of these signs, it means your tomato plant is infected. Unfortunately, there are no cure for viral diseases of tomatoes, so your options are limited. What to do when you see this kind of curling depends on the severity and stage of growth of the tomato. If one or a few tomato plants are infected and there are several healthy ones, just pull up the infected plants and discard to prevent further spread. In addition, since these viruses are transmitted by insects such as trips, white flies and aphids, you need to control them as well. Also, Disinfect gardening tools before and after use. If all your tomato plants are infected and they have started bearing fruits, then just leave them since they can produce a few fruits that you can enjoy for your labor. However, if the symptoms are seen on many or all young tomato plants, it's better to rogue them and start a new set of plants. Now that you know that your area is a hotspot for these viral diseases, take preventive steps to avoid future outbreaks by using tolerant varieties, controlling pest populations and disinfecting your tools. Don't throw virus infected plant materials into the compost. Instead, burn, bury or seal them in trash bags and throw them into the trash to be incinerated. Number 2. Herbicide damage. Herbicide drift during application by you or your neighbor can cause leaves of tomato plants to roll. The nature of the roll caused by herbicide depends on the herbicide used and may often manifest as leaf cupping, rolling up or rolling down in both young and mature leaves. The older leaves at the bottom may be spread. The rolling may look similar to some viral diseases but may not have the leaf discoloration often associated with leaf curling caused by viruses. Nevertheless, bleaching may be observed near the petiole in some cases. Curling may be observed only on one side of the plant or throughout the entire plant. When you see this, you can prune off all leaves and shoots that have symptoms and new shoots will develop shortly. If it's the entire plant, you can wait for new leaves to start developing before pruning. Number 3. Bacteria Wilt Bacteria Wilt of tomato 
It's a soil-borne disease that causes the leaf to roll and the entire plant to wilt even though they may look green. This is often easy to distinguish from the other causes of rolling since it's mostly observed throughout the plant and makes the plant look flaccid or dehydrated. When you see this early enough, you can drain the soil with 1% perosan and it can help reduce the bacterial population and improve plant survival. However, at the latter stages, it's best to remove the plant from the soil so that the bacteria are not released back into the soil. Discard a plant the same way as you would do for a virus infected plant. Number 4. Leaf Miner Not all leaf miners cause leaf rolling in tomatoes. However, a specific leaf miner known as the tomato leaf miner with the scientific name Tuta absoluta can cause tomato leaf to roll up. Tomato leaf miner is a serious pest of tomatoes since it attacks both the leaves and fruit. Leaf rolling caused by this leaf miner is characterized by browning at the edges and the rolling may be on one side, both sides or middle of the leaf. In this case, the rolling is caused by the insect wrapping the leaves around its body. Depending on the population, rolling may be observed on only one, just a few, or many leaves. Depending on the severity, you can just remove infected plant parts and destroy them. You can use yellow sticky traps to trap adults and assess the population. If the adult population is high, spray neem oil and bt based insecticides to control the pest. And number 5. Environmental factors. Abiotic or environmental factors already mentioned also cause the metal leaf to roll. In this case, the leaves roll up and it's often observed in older leaves. If you see rolling of the bottom leaves, the action to take will depend on the cause and the nature of the rolling. The first thing you have to do when you see the bottom leaves rolling up is to check the soil surface in the top one inch of the soil. If it's dry, then your plants are likely getting dehydrated. Depending on the severity of the water stress or how long the plant has been kept in low moisture, some or all the young leaves may show signs of wilting such as drooping, looking flaccid and soft to the touch. Just give them water and they will be fine. Deep watering is preferable to shallow watering in tomatoes. Also, a good mulch cover will be useful. If the soil surface is too wet or looks soggy, then it's likely the plants are getting too much water, so you need to reduce the frequency of watering. If the soil surface is moist, then it's likely that the plants are being exposed to high temperatures. You don't have to do anything in this case. However, if the leaf rolling is accompanied by a flower or fruit dropping or abortion, then it may be useful to erect a shade cloth. If the leaves look dark green and leathery, it's likely that there is too much nitrogen. This may also be accompanied by a dropping of flowers. Do not add any more nitrogen fertilizers. Additionally, you can prune some of the older leaves to force the plant to produce new shoots and leaves to use up the nitrogen. If the raw leaves have a purplish tint at the edge, it signifies nutrient deficiency. The rolling and purple coloration may also be observed in younger leaves. Applying a complete fertilizer or compost may help alleviate symptoms. If the raw leaves have brown patches surrounded by yellow coloration, it's likely a fungal disease may be manifested. If only a few leaves have these symptoms, pruning them will suffice. However, if more leaves are affected, then it's better to apply the fungicides in addition. Number 6. Excessive Pruning Whilst pruning tomatoes has advantages, excessive and improperly timed pruning can have a negative effect on the growth of the plant and cause the leaves to roll up. 
if you have excessively pruned your tomato plants there's not much you can do just allow the plant to grow new shoots and take it easy on subsequent pruning sprees you can check out our upcoming video on how to prune tomato effectively to help you to grow better tomatoes that's all for now if you found this video informative just toggle the like button to show your approval you can take this a step further by sharing the video with friends and family so more people can benefit from it if you're new to this channel kindly consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us your free subscription can also help us to grow if you have any questions or have a new way to deal with running of leaves in tomatoes don't hesitate to share in the comments check out our other videos or see you in our next until then it's adios